Well, hello and a very good morning to you and welcome to this informational video for the Weybridge 10K. Now, as you can see, we've got Walton Bridge just behind us and this is the start and the finish line for the race this year. Now, in the video, we're going to be talking through the finalised route. We're going to be talking about welcome packs and what you can expect to be included in those packs. We're also going to look forward to race day, thinking about how you can get here to the start line and what you can expect in the race village just over there on the day itself. And finally, if you haven't signed up already, not a problem, don't fret. We're going to tell you how to do that the easiest way so you can get involved in the race this year. Also about an informational evening down at Weybridge Sports in the High Street. We're going to tell you all about that so you can meet the race directors themselves. But let's start with one of the most important things. Let's have a look at the route. The Weybridge 10K organisers have come up with a great new route for 2018 which is going to take you down some new roads that you know and love in Weybridge and Walton. The race starts right here at Cowie Sale and makes its way down the towpath towards Thames Street. On Thames Street you'll have a Marshall Crossing, the first of two in the early stages of the race. From Thames Street you'll make your way down Weybridge High Street, crossing onto the left hand side and from there you're staying on the left making your way up Heath Road along Hanger Hill and down at Monument Hill. From then it's crossing back over to Thames Street and along the towpath until you finish right back here at the finish line with a big smile on your face. Now, of course, you're all going to get your hands on a fantastic welcome pack for this year's race, which is not only going to include your race number and your chip, but if you've booked a car parking space for either Cowie Sale or Vandals, details of that will be in there. If you've ordered a t-shirt, that too will be in the pack. We also have a whole host of promotional material and vouchers from our brand partners and our sponsors for this year's race. Now, before you even start the Weybridge 10K, you have got a very important decision to make, and that is how you are going to make your way into the start line. We've got a number of different options this year, including walking or cycling in, but of course, if you do cycle, make sure that you put your bike in a safe place and make sure that it is locked up. Another good decision, and I'm sure Dan would agree with me on this one, is public transport. Of course, we've got mainline stations at Walton and Weybridge. Weybridge may be just a little bit further than Walton, but do check out via the internet to see the best options for you. As we mentioned in the welcome packs, we've also got designated car parks. Tell me about those, JP. So the two main car parks are the blue car park with Weybridge Vandals and the green car park at Cowie Sale. But make sure whichever car park you're in, you are displaying your pass and that you are in the place that you Absolutely, and if all else fails, please do go to the website, check out the transport and parking link, and that will give you further information. So the final thing that we have to tell you about is the race village, which as always is going to be the hub of the event. Absolutely, but this year we're going to have the race village in just one area. By Gino's Cafe, Cowie Sale, where we're stood right now, and Walton Bridge is where that is going to be. And when you cross the finish line, you're going to be handed one of these brand new shiny finishes at medals. Well then James? I love the medals, brilliant. Uh, once you have finished the race and you've got your medal, you can go to the race village to celebrate with your friends, families and supporters. You can grab a tea or coffee, a bacon butty or even this year, a cheeky cocktail. The race village is going to be a perfect way to celebrate you finishing the Weybridge 10k. If you haven't signed up for this year's event, it's quick, simple and easy. Just head to the homepage of the website, click on the enter now button and follow the process. Entry for this year's event is just £22, with the deadline being the 11th of March. Do also keep in touch with us on our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for any entry competitions which may give you discount to the event. If you have signed up, here's a date for your diary, Thursday the 15th of February. We're holding an open information evening down at Weybridge Sports in the High Street where you can meet other runners, race directors, share stories and ask any questions that you may have. So that's it. Now you should have everything you need in order to get ready to run a bigger, a better, a faster a race this year. And if you do need any more information, you can contact the race directors via the Weybridge 10K website or keep up to date with the latest right here. It's the place to be uh, at Weybridge 10K TV. Making sure you subscribe by clicking the button below. But for now, enjoy your training, get ready for the race, and Dan and I will see you on April the 1st.